but these H-2B occupations, these pretty much every job in Florida is an H-2B job. It's all about tourism. Yeah. It's all service. seasonal. Mm -hmm. It's all service. It's all construction. So these are all jobs that are now being given away. And then, oh, here's a, a breaking news. Foreign guest workers in the U.S. found to earn less than others in the same job. So, of course, that's why they are hiring foreign uh, workers, because they know that they can pay them less. And then this is an economic policy institute, which is a left-leaning think tank. And they that's said, how they work it. Yeah, yeah they're exactly. saying, huh, imagine that. Well, we've got uh, Hillary, uh, Hillary Clinton contest uh, winners coming up in the next segment. There was some breaking news about Hillary today. We had Tom DeLay say what? Well, the FBI says they're ready to indict Hillary. He says he's got sources on the inside that they're ready to indict. And if the attorney general doesn't move forward with that, they're going to go public. Well, I hope that's true. We also had uh, the McLaughlin report, uh, Clarence Page, saying that he thought that they would uh, do an indictment, but they would not prosecute. Meanwhile, we see yet another report today that uh, she was uh, having her team cut and paste classified information from server to server, just as uh, she denied to Richard Reeves and everybody else. Complete denial. And that's the way the Clintons deal with this. Now, when we come back, we're going to play a report from Richard Reeves, who is still on site in Iowa and Vermont. And so we're going to have a report coming up from him. Again, ladies and gentlemen, you can get six months free at PrisonPlanet.tv, but only for one more week. Next Monday, the special that only comes around once a year ends. In fact, we've never offered six months free before, but I really want to get more people to join and to be able to watch the nightly news, to see the live reports we do, the special reports, all my films, ebooks, and so much more. One person can share their membership with 20 people, and you are funding the absolute very leading edge, the vanguard of the resistance to the globalist operation on every front. We have to have our own platform that is harder for them to censor, harder for the system to shut down. PrisonPlanet.tv. We put out the daily radio show free with the video and audio feeds at Infowars.com forward slash show. But it is the members that get the nightly news exclusively and first and the commercial free video podcasts and audio podcasts that are paying it forward and financing and helping so many other people see the truth when we put the videos on Facebook, YouTube, and it's PrisonPlanet.tv that finances so much of the cameras, the equipment, the crew, the reporters. You are becoming a PrisonPlanet.tv member. You get exclusive HD, higher quality, get it first, and then you can download it, share it with friends and family, share your passcode with them, your username. It's a win-win, and then you're helping finance to put it out for free to everybody. PrisonPlanet.tv. Clean, pure drinking water. You can't survive without it. But where do you get it? Alexa Pure Pro is a brand new, groundbreaking, gravity-fed water filtration system that is like no other. The Alexa Pure Pro transforms water from virtually any fresh source into clean, healthy drinking water. Save $20 off the retail price and get free shipping. This is a limited-time offer, so order your unit today and receive free shipping and $20 off. Go to InfoWarsStore.com or call 888-253-3139. Another week, another admission that Hillary Clinton was messing with classified emails in a way that violates national security in a major way. We see now that Hillary Clinton is facing claims that her team cut and paste classified information from a secure network to her secret server. And of course, this isn't the first time that we've had uh, testimony that she has doctored documents in order to avoid uh, classification restrictions. They say a new report this week says the FBI is looking into whether Hillary Clinton's top aides at State Department may have violated protocol by cutting and pasting top secret information from one computer network to another. The technique would have been used to allow highly secure intelligence to be routed to her private home-based email server, agent said in a report by the New York Post. And of course, the question is, why would somebody like that in that position have a private home-based email server? Of course, she's still saying, I did not have text with that server. Now, we've seen this before, and we've had emails. They quote them in this particular article from the Daily Mail. They say in one email, we've seen Clinton pressure Sullivan to just email, quote unquote, just email it. Classified cabled remarks by a foreign leader. She said, trust me, I share your exasperation, but until ops converts it to the unclassified email system, there is no physical way for me to email it, said Sullivan. 
In another exchange, she instructed him to convert it in a way that would avoid these restrictions. She said, just turn it into non-paper with no identifying heading and send it non-secure. See, this is why, as we pointed out earlier, if the FBI does not indict her, if the uh, attorney general does not indict her, it is an admission by the state that the entire religion of national security is nonsense. We also see this article that was just put up on a Drudge from Don Salazar, Infowars.com. If I die by committing suicide, don't believe it, said one of Bill's former mistresses. She fears that Hillary will have her killed. As the article points out, this is the former Miss Arkansas, Sally Miller, also known as Sally Perdue. It says, been well established but underreported by American media that Hillary Clinton unleashed her operatives, including Ron Tucker, to threaten her beginning in 1992, reports Jack Dennis for an examiner.com. Soon after she began talking to the press during the first year of Bill Clinton's presidency at a meeting in a restaurant with Tucker, Miller was told to be a, quote, good little girl, and she was offered a federal job. If she didn't accept the offer, quote, then they knew if I went jogging by myself and couldn't guarantee what would happen to my pretty little legs, she reported. Now, we've had this uh, contest uh, where we invited people to ridicule Hillary Clinton because that is one of the most effective ways, according to her mentor, Saul Alinsky, one of the most effective ways to take people down. Well, we've had a lot of effective entries, and we thank everyone who participated in this. That is important just to participate in this, to get the information out there. So if you're not a winner, we're, we regret that. Everybody cannot be a winner, as uh, Clint Eastwood just pointed out with the Oscars. But we do appreciate what you've done. There is value in what you've done. You should be proud of the fact that you got into the fight. We're going to play for you. Uh, the winner, as well as the second and third place uh, people who have won uh, prizes here. The winner got $5,000. Let's go ahead and play those contest entries for you. When I heard about the Make Fun of Hillary contest, I really got excited. Dozens of ideas flooded my consciousness. After all, Hillary is a dumpy, stiff, humorless cartoon figure with a string of outrageous lies and embarrassing gaffes that would have destroyed anyone else. What a juicy target for ridicule and parody. One of the ideas for a Hillary is the Wicked Witch of the West, with the faces of her many evil familiars grafted onto the bodies of the flying monkeys. I always found it interesting that Hillary and Billary seem to surround themselves with physically distorted, angry misanthropes such as Robert Reich, Donna Shalala, James Carvel, and Madeleine Albright. The Clintons had apparently tapped into the psychology of physically repulsive people who were angry at the world with a thirst for political power to use as payback against the normals, like the Morlocks feeding on the Eloy in H.G. Wells' time machine. Or how about that creepy Star Trek episode where a bitter, rejected girlfriend takes over Captain Kirk's body so that she can be the captain of the Enterprise, like a bitter old Hillary having to use Bill Clinton as a front and beard for her own warped ambition. How about depicting her as the revenge-driven brain that wouldn't die? That old 1950s horror schlock classic about a woman whose scientist fiancé got into an auto accident that killed her body but left her head alive thanks to his scientific acumen. Naturally, being a dismembered head in a dish of blood is a rather unpleasant experience, so the bodiless woman becomes unhinged, using her hate-driven mental powers to control a brainless body that just happens to be laying around the lab to do mayhem. I thought this the perfect metaphor for her domineering relationship with the philandering, distracted Bill Clinton as she acted as shadow president. I began to craft the video for the contest, but something kept me from exploiting the idea of a funny Hillary. Alex, you have used comedy very effectively to cut pompous leftists down to size, but Hillary is something quite different. 
Can we really afford to laugh at the woman who started out her career as a crooked intern during the Watergate scandal? A senior citizen robbing crooked shyster in Whitewater? Uh, The woman who presided over the massive Clinton body count in Arkansas? The theft of the FBI files that adversely influenced politics for decades, not to mention the kidnapping of Elian Gonzalez, the bombing of the Serbs, the destruction of the Middle East and the Benghazi compound? Imagine using a charitable organization to pass government secrets and favors and in the process steal millions. This avaricious woman may just be the most despicable and dangerous figure in modern times. As a friend would say, she is a toxic bitch. (coughs) Sorry, Alex, even at the risk of blowing 5Gs, the thought of this creature with her finger on the nuclear button as the evidence mounts that she quarterbacked the burning of the Waco church leaves me laughing until I cry. We came... We saw, he died. (laughs) I represented New York on 9-11. We were attacked in downtown Manhattan, where Wall Street is. It makes perfect sense, right? She was a senator when 9-11 happened, so that's why Wall Street gives her the money. How could anyone possibly think she would owe the banks anything for that? It's like they don't understand how the real world works. They just give her money because 9-11, duh. I don't know why the retarded Republicans won't stop whining about this stupid email scandal. Who cares if Hillary illegally set up a private server in her home and used a separate secret email account for official government business and then wiped the servers clean after being subpoenaed by the Justice Department to turn over the emails? I, I'm, I'm not, you know, I don't, I have no idea. That's why we turned it over. We charge of it. You were the official charge. Did you like the server? What, like with a cloth or something? No, well, no. How it works digitally? Did you try I, I don't know how it works digitally at all. Just because she's like super famous doesn't mean she doesn't deserve privacy. Have a little trust, people. It's not like she has anything to hide. She was the best Secretary of State like ever. She traveled to like thousands of different countries and made the world a much better and safer place. She had radical jihadis take out Gaddafi, the king of Libya. You know, the guy with the botched plastic surgeries. It was on her watch that he was dragged in the streets, raped, and murdered. She even took credit for it on TV. We came. We saw, (laughs) he died. (laughs) Morning to the queen, how has life been? I got a couple questions and I hope it don't offend. See, I've been kind of broken, I've been trying to figure how. I can make a hundred thousand, but then I'm some cows. Or maybe you can find someone, I just need a job. Put me in the White House, transportation vibe. Could be my new title, Billy Della, never mind. Just falsify some documents no one will ever find. Anything else, people never pay attention. And even if they do, you just throw them in detention. Fuck them, I don't care, we can make them disappear. Dead people don't talk, it's a false very clear. Example of what happened when you go against their majesty. They just tend to kill themselves with a tragedy. I can handle talk lines if it gets mine. Kill a friend or a colleague, no crime. Yeah, we must follow our queen. She give us power to dream. Again, thank you for everyone who participated. Great job. And uh, that's it for tonight's nightly news. Join us again tomorrow at 7 Central, 8 p.m. Eastern. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockout's it. Infowarslife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. 
and it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. You are watching the InfoWars Nightly News, which airs 7 p.m. Central at InfoWarsNews.com. And your support is helping us defend liberty worldwide.